Oh, there you are. You're just the people I want to talk to. I, uh, I want to tell you a story. It's the story of a great enterprise which started in February 1945 in Brunswick, Germany. Here, despite the wretchedness and boredom of their surroundings, two men, Colonel Dunnell and Captain Flood, conceived a great ideal. In the day-to-day -day life of the camp, they saw the men around them suffering from the discontent that is born of enforced leisure. They watched the growing sense of apathy, which comes of having too little to do. It was in this atmosphere of frustration that Colonel Dunnell saw a parallel to the lives of so many boys in Britain who were wasting their youth for want of the opportunity to use their leisure to some definite purpose. It was then that this idea came to him, an idea whereby he and his fellow prisoners could help hundreds of youngsters at home and, by so doing, bring a real interest into their own lives in the camp. One day, Colonel Dunnell got the men together and tried to make them see that the principal reason for the monotony of their own lives came from enforced and useless leisure. And so he suggested that even though perhaps they couldn't help themselves, they could help boys at home who had similar problems to face. They could, he thought, raise between them money to help found a boys' club. If they raised enough, he said, it might even be called Brunswick after their camp. To begin with, few of them were enthusiastic. They had, in any case, little idea of what purpose a boys' club served. Some felt there were enough clubs already, others that boys didn't go to them. Then one of them, a young paratrooper, having been born in the east end of London and for whom a boys' club had meant everything, came to the support of the colonel. He made them see, from his own experience, the background of purpose and enterprise that a boys' club gave, friendships that could be made, ideas that could be exchanged. He told them of the endless opportunities which it offered, opportunities designed to help every kind of temperament and to stimulate every kind of talent. But principally, he helped them to realize that boys' clubs could build new citizens for a new Britain, trained to work as a team and inspired by the Christian way of life. Few of us see the ideals we plan come to reality. But Colonel Dunnell's enthusiasm and the support of this man who had gained so much from a boys club so fired the imagination of their comrades that they raised 13,000 pounds among them in Offlag 79 to found the Brunswick Club. And so from the squalor and misery of war there came this great ideal an ideal that has been partly fulfilled. But one club can do so little. 4,000 clubs are needed. Prisoners of war, men separated from their homes, gave 13,000 pounds. Now, how much will you give?